breeze through store number 138. Let's chat. Breeze through, we, we realize what we are. You know, we're a smaller, locally based C store chain. Uh, we're in a marketplace full of all the big guys. We have to be better at things than other folks. I identify us as being the cleaner store, the neater store, the more shoppable store. We've created an image, and you'll see the image in the stores as you go through. A lot less tile and, and, and shiny surfaces. The days of, I want you in and out of my convenience store in 90 seconds, we're kind of moving towards, hang out with us, talk to us, let us get to know you. We've got stores that have food. We've gone to fresh and local. Well, I came on board basically to, to implement the whole food service program. They hadn't had one before. Our number one seller is the uh, Philly cheesesteak, you know, burgers, um, chicken sandwiches, things that travel well. Convenience and expediency is the name of the game. We have an operations team that diligently follows the trends. I mean, we have talked to folks about eight-foot pet sections. We've looked at dog washes. We've got rocket Bitcoin machines in our stores right now. We just recently got the self-checkout. Self-checkout is actually a great help to us. Customers walk in and go, I can do what? Go bark with self-checkout. Hey, that's a wow factor. The store managers, that from the moment we put it in their store, they started driving it. So you can get them out of the line behind somebody who's playing lottery or has a bunch of stuff. Lottery takes actually a little bit more than a second sometimes because the person is like shopping it while they're standing there. Giving that customer who wants a fast experience in and out in a convenience store, not waiting behind the lottery customer, an option. This is a people customer service business. I do actually like interacting with the customers. I do like to meet new people. You know, with some people that moved here from England, I get to interact with them so, and I get to pick up on their accents and, you know. Hello, darling, how are you? I'm quite peachy today. Can they say, oh, you did a good job, or, you know, so. You know, so. All the interactions are in your stores, and the people that you put out there are the people that represent you. You can't train personality. You can't train Lakeisha's attitude and the way she looks at the world. What I can teach her to do is to run a register, to do paperwork, to hire good people, to give her the skills to do that, but I can't teach her to be her. I like working for Mark. You know, he's fun. You know, I like him when he comes in the store. He always gives nice stuff to the customers when when he comes in the store, so. And he even tries to run the register when he probably can't, hasn't ran a register in a while. The market has been very good for us. The software's been pretty reliable, durable. You've got state-of-the-art everything, but you're at a price that a company our size can afford. We get the best of service, plus we get the value, and we get a solid performer that's gonna last us for the decade that we buy equipment for. So I've even had some of the technicians from Go Barker teach me things. I still have some text messages from them with pictures of teaching me how to do stuff. So they're, I mean, it's, it's a very good relationship that we have with them. That's really a good feeling for us. That's what we look for in our maintenance vendors and our GSD supply vendors and, and from our equipment providers. I'm Mark Smith from Breeze Through Markets and we build our brand with Go Barco.